your girl Joy back with another banger. I just got to work, so it's early. I got here, I think at 6.45. This is my comfy sweater, y'all. It be comfortable? <laughs> so that's why you see it all the time in the videos. So this is Vlogmas 21. I don't know why my nose is kind of runny. Ooh, I be taking the vitamin C, Connie, so I'm not drinking every day. <laughs> I start my day with the vitamin C. Um, but I just got to work early. I was late the other day, honey. Okay. Um, but I just wanted to jump on here real quick. I do not know what the day holds for me. Um, it could go either way. Today is the last day. We get out at 12:30. I have to put some grades in. And it's just, you know, reading some emails and stuff. It's amazing. Like, why is my child, why are they still in the class? Uh, maybe because they didn't do well on the test. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> teachers go above and beyond. I've never experienced this before. They stay late. They come in early. They try. They do small group. They, they do everything. But then the parents want to turn around. Uh, and say, well, why are they failing? Sometimes kids fail. I mean, they, they didn't study or they didn't put enough effort or it could be anything. They didn't get it. They didn't understand it. And even if a child is like at a 75, why do they have a 75? Because they do. Did you check their grades in the system? That's what they got. But anyway, I'm not here for that. So I may even take all that out. So... Do you guys remember when I wrote the letter to the little girl, you know, because she got a 75 and she was happy with that. Mom was happy with that, you know, because a lot of people didn't pass that test. And I just wanted her to believe in herself and I wrote the, the um letter and you guys, you know, I wrote, it was in a video, okay. I came in this morning, almost made me cry. So I ain't trying to cry my eyes already puffy from, I just woke up. <laughs> Takes a couple of hours for the bags to go down, okay. And uh, the mother emailed me about the letter. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> and she says, Miss Basil, I wanted to thank you so much for the kind letter you wrote my daughter. She showed it to me last week. She was so excited about the letter and her grade. You have no idea how much that meant to both of us. She does have anxiety, especially with tests, as well as a lot of kids do. Oh, state testing, um, Sydney, my daughter, her anxiety goes through the roof. And I have told her over and over how smart and capable she is of doing great. But it is so great for her to hear from someone else. It meant a lot for you to take the time to write out a letter to her. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Oh my gosh, it almost made me cry. Because you guys don't, well, you probably do, but for a student to get, you know, I, it was a letter letter, and I even got some envelopes. I didn't, FYI, I did not do the personalized cards for everybody. I had too much grades to put in and all that stuff. I, I just couldn't do it. But just writing a letter and then having a student deliver a letter um, to the recipient, it just, it means a lot to it would mean a lot to anybody. So it lets me know, this just lets me know that, you know, my efforts and the time I took to write it did not go in vain and it was appreciated. So I just wanted to let you guys know because it really touched my heart. Almost made me cry. I have to, you know how you do the fan, do the fan for your eyes. And um, I'm just so happy to know that the letter really touched her and that I'll continue to write these little gifts and these little letters to the kids. I'm not sure how long I'll continue teaching. I'm not sure how long because it is very stressful. And then when you have parents who want to jump your bones, I don't think I can handle that. I think I, even working with the behavior kids and we and the teacher was the parent, we didn't deal with parents. I'm not sure, but this is my first time at a traditional school. And with 170 students, I think it's a little overwhelming for me. Um, it's a lot, and then when you have disrespectful students, it, it's disrespectful, not like will they curse you out, nothing like that. The behavior school, you might get that, but I, I've only experienced that once in four years. 
and he was crazy as a bed bug. But then the next day, hey, Miss Vanza. <laughs> I was like, but I was all sorts of kinds of names, but that has only happened to me once. But I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But the teaching is, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> My poor little brain. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have to see. I have lots of soul searching to do um, over the summer, and if I'll come back or if I'll pursue something else. But it is a little overwhelming. Um, you know, maybe if I had like 60, 70 students, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot you they don't tell you when you want to become a teacher. And like I said before, this is my first time at a traditional school, and I'm not gonna say I bit off more than I can chew, but it is a lot, and it's a lot of red tape. It almost takes the joy out of the teaching part because there's so many other components. So I'm not sure if I'll continue teaching. I don't know. I don't know, but I have to see and I have to really dig deep because you know, my heart is to teach, but this might be too big for me. So I don't know, I don't know. So I just know I need a job, okay? All right, so I'm sure I'll be back. It is a half day today. I need to get my grades in and I want to enjoy this quiet time here at school. So I have about another hour and some change before the kids get here. So we'll see. Okay, I'll be back later. What's up, Bass Waves? I am back. It is the end of the day. Kids are gone. ID is off. Yeah, I won't be coming back to next year. 2020 what does 2020 hold for me what does it hold for you looking forward to all the experiences that life is about to throw at me <laughs> i'm ready what you got what you got okay <laughs> so i'm going to um they gone all the kids gone child i can feel i'm getting a little cold um this one Almost 1.30. I'm probably going to leave out of here. 30. Two. I already checked out. Because you can't leave until you get checked out, sis. All your grades and all that stuff needs to be in. I'll be taking home a stack of <laughs> papers to read. That's in my head. They may be coming right back. But no. <laughs> I want to read them and take the time because... Um, this is setting the foundation for their essay for their state exam that they must write. I would say out of all six of my classes and 170 students, I would say 60% of them are right there. They'll pass the writing portion. But then that other percentage, we got work to do. You know, at least we have a base level and then we're just going to keep growing from there. They'll get it. They'll get it if they've never been exposed to it and, you know, we're doing it over and over and over and it becoming a repetitive thing. They'll get it. Child's like a ghost town around here. There's only one other teacher down this hallway. My bestie. <laughs> My work bestie. So, and then, you know, I looked at um, students' grades before I posted them. Like, if you had a 79 or 89... You know, if I know you try, you do your stuff, you participate, I got you. You know, what's another point to bring you, you know, above that? So, um, I'm going to go home probably and do nothing. Tomorrow I'll stop my puzzle. Mm-mm. I'm lying. Mm. I'm eating plants and chips. But they have like a little picante. They're a little spicy. My bestie got me some so no i got drop kids around yeah i mean will you be home before this time will you be home before this time how about this time no time for me no time for me but i'm looking forward to just sitting down maybe watching a movie on netflix yeah i haven't done that in a long time because you know, vlogmas, vlogmas been kicking that tail. You know what I'm saying? I'm never saying. <laughs> I may or may not be back, but 
it is the last day of school until next year. We were excited. Kids are excited. They went running out of here. Out of 170 kids, I only had one student who couldn't think of a thought for the essay prompt. Um, what was the prompt? Was something about explain why having a positive attitude can lead to success. I said, think of the little engine that could. How about Thomas Edison? How about Michael Jordan? I just can't think of anything. I just gave you three thoughts. You couldn't come up with nothing out of those three things. How they didn't give up, how they stayed positive. You couldn't take the little hints I was throwing you to make a little mince pie, to make one sentence, one complete sentence. You couldn't come up with nothing. You mean your memory chip is blank? Your memory chip is broken. Your memory chip has been erased. You can't come up with one sentence. Let me email your mother.